In the midst of global conflicts, China is shaping the future of agriculture through technology. China has recently launched fully AI-managed fields where drones, sensors and satellites completely replace human labor with just 8% of the world's arable land. They still manage to feed over 1.4 billion people while much of the world, including the United States, continues to debate agricultural subsidies. How? Can a country with so little land rewrite the global rules of food production? Let's explore the secrets behind China's remarkable success in modern agriculture with Top 10 Discoveries Official. Action Plan China Modernizing Agriculture with Data and AI in October 2024 China unveiled an ambitious plan to fully modernize the agricultural sector through digitization, artificial intelligence, AI, and biotechnology. The official name Smart Agriculture Action Plan 2024 to 2028. The goals are very clear. Increase food production by 2% annually, ensuring food security for 1.4 billion people, digitize 80% of arable land by 2028, up from 50% in 2023, achieve 85% mechanization. Replacing manual labor with machinery and automation, reduce pesticide and chemical fertilizer use by 15%. Through precision technology, Develop the AI market in agriculture to reach $232 million, growing at nearly 8% per year. Optimize over 335 million acres of arable land through a national big data system. All these figures indicate one thing. China not only wants to farm better, it wants to completely revolutionize how the agricultural sector operates in the technological era. But to move toward this future, they've had to overcome challenges that seemed insurmountable. China, the harsh price of a massive agricultural system behind the tech images and AI-driven fields lies another truth, quiet but brutal. China has been and continues to face challenges that seem insurmountable. These are not ordinary difficulties. This is the survival battle of a national agricultural system. China owns less than 8% of the world's arable land. Yet, this country must feed over 1.4 billion people equivalent to 20% of the global population. This means that each acre of land in China is working two to three times harder than the global average. There is no room for failure. There is no second option. It's either success or a food crisis. However, when the land is scarce, nature isn't on their side either. Each year, China loses around 49,400 acres of arable land due to floods, droughts, and storms. Climate change has disrupted traditional planting maps. Some years, droughts cause damages up to $6.4 billion. Other years, floods sweep through the south, destroying crops, increasing pests, and disrupting the entire food supply system. Frequency of large floods has increased sevenfold since the 1950s. The situation is continuing to worsen. To apply advanced technology in agriculture, China needs drones, AI, and IoT sensors. But that's not something millions of small farmers can access. With an average land holding of only about 1.5 acres per household, investing in a smart farming system is nearly impossible. Technology has become a new dividing line, separating those who can continue farming from those who are forced to abandon the fields and they have left. From 2000 to 2020, the share of the workforce in agriculture in China dropped from 44% to 28%. The traditional farming workforce is gone and the younger generation is not interested in returning. As a result, many rural areas have become desolate. No one to work, no one to inherit agricultural knowledge and no one to operate the technology. Even though the equipment is available, at the same time, the land is starting to rebel. Continuous intensive farming, combined with the overuse of chemical fertilizers, has caused about 40% of the arable land to degrade. The amount of fertilizer used has reached 356 pounds per acre, double the recommended level by the Food and Agriculture Organization. The land can no longer regenerate crops become weaker. 
and when the foundation is eroded, the entire system is at risk of collapse. This was China's situation before technology appeared as a lifeline. A series of crises stacked on top of each other. Land, people, climate, and the environment pushed the country to a critical point. Either collapse or transform. When the land became exhausted, nature rebelled. The population abandoned. The fields. And productivity sharply declined. China's agriculture was faced with a life-or-death decision. Either collapse in crisis or undergo a total transformation. And they chose the path that no one was sure about, entrusting the future of agriculture to technology, specifically artificial intelligence. Since the early 2010s, China began an unprecedented large-scale experiment, using AI, big data, and automation to redefine the entire process of planting, nurturing, and harvesting. No longer relying on intuition or traditional experience, every decision is now based on precise calculations down to the inch of land. Every gust of wind, every change in sunlight, at the heart of this revolution is the national agricultural data system expected to be fully operational by 2028. When fully operational, system will collect and process data from over 335 million acres of farmland. The equivalent of the combined area of Texas and California, transforming the entire surface into a real-time analytics network. IoT sensors will measure moisture, temperature, and nutrients in the soil. Satellite imagery will monitor leaf color, coverage, and crop health. Weather forecasting will no longer be at the provincial level, but will be personalized down to each. Square mile behind all these systems is AI not just supporting, but the brain that makes the decisions. A. Prime example is the map platform from Cinecom Agriculture, implemented in seven provinces. Integrating data from over 135 million acres of farmland. This system helps farmers select the best crop varieties, plan planting schedules, coordinate irrigation, predict pest outbreaks, and optimize harvest timing. The result? a 10 to 15% increase in yield, the 20% reduction in chemical usage. Another technology is the Tumanine app, ah, using computer vision to detect banana diseases with 90% accuracy. With this system, pesticide use can be reduced by up to 30% while maintaining stable yield. Decisions that once relied on farmers' intuition are now processed by neural networks and deep learning models dot in the air. Drones are now not only monitoring, but also directly spraying pesticides, mapping the land, and monitoring soil conditions. On the ground, robots from Hans Robot can plant seeds, fertilize, and harvest accurately, without rest, without mistakes. What used to require 10 workers in a day, now takes one robot and a few hours of operation, not stopping there. AI is also integrated into breeding technology. Combined with CRISPR and genome analysis, China's developing crop varieties that are drought-resistant, grow rapidly, and adapt well to climate change. The new varieties are no longer selected based on seasonal cycles, but are based on models. That account for hundreds of variables, including climate, soil, and disease. In greenhouse models, AI can predict tomato yield with 85% accuracy. In Zhejiang province, deep learning algorithms combined with IoT sensors and satellite images have helped predict rice yields with an error rate under 5%. This is no longer agriculture. It is data science applied directly to the land. And most importantly, these systems are not just on paper. Fuxi Farm, a farm in Zhejiang province, is clear proof. Here, each plant is monitored by sensors, each plot is managed by drones, and each harvest is planned by algorithms. The result? A 20% increase in yield and a 15% reduction in production costs. Provinces like Jiangsu and Shandong are also implementing similar models. With strong support from the Chinese government, from interest-free loan policies, tax exemptions on technology equipment imports, two technical training programs for farmers, this is no longer an experiment. This is the acceleration phase, a country. Once limited by scarce land, harsh climate, and a massive population is now transforming into a high-tech agricultural powerhouse. And the key to this transformation is AI. In a global context of food crises, 
environmental degradation, and population pressure, China's agricultural model, despite being controversial, is proving that. A smart, automated, data-driven, agriculture is no longer a distant dream, and if the world is not ready, they will have no choice but to follow China. A decision shaping the future. When the government is the brain behind the agricultural revolution, no miracle happens out of nowhere. In the smart agriculture revolution, Chinese government is not just the leader, it's the real architect. Behind every TCH covered field, every drone flying across the sky, every sensor embedded deep into the soil, in an era where many countries let the market figure it out on its own, China has chosen to go against the tide. They are not waiting for agriculture to adapt by itself. They're creating the conditions for it to evolve, from infrastructure to financial policy. From scientific research to commercial deployment, in the Smart Agriculture Development Plan, 2024 to 2028, the Chinese government has committed to investing billions of dollars in research, development and AI applications in agriculture. But this is not just a number, it's a vision transforming farmland into a data network, turning farmers into technology engineers with a series of unprecedented incentives such as tax cuts, direct subsidies, interest-free loans, and technical training programs, the Chinese government has removed the financial barriers that have prevented farmers from accessing advance. Technology, not stopping at the financial aspect, China has done something very few countries dare to do building digital infrastructure in rural areas. Since 2020, the 5G network and the Internet of Things IoT system have been widely deployed in rural areas, places that once lacked even a single signal tower or stable network connection. Thanks to this, smart devices like soil sensors, agricultural drones, and harvesting robots can operate smoothly, uninterrupted, independent of urban infrastructure, in major cities like Beijing, Shanghai, and Henan, AI and agricultural research, centers have been established, functioning as the brain of the entire industry. The government has not only brought in major corporations like Baidu, Huawei, and IBM China, but also created mechanisms for state research institutes and private companies to share data, models, and results. This is the only way to bridge. The gap between research and practical application and the most important thing is the political vision. China does not view smart agriculture as a project. They've incorporated it into the National Development Strategy made in China 2025, along with semiconductors, renewable energy and artificial intelligence. Smart agriculture is identified as a pillar of national security and technological sovereignty by prioritizing domestic technology. The Chinese government has helped the country reduce dependence on foreign platforms. From GPS systems to production management software, this not only protects farmers from disruption risks, but also helps. China gradually export its smart agriculture model globally. Without the right policies, no data would be collected. Without serious investment, no AI would be trained. Without connected infrastructure, all technology would just be a dream. And that's why the role of the Chinese government is not just to support, but to lead. If agriculture is the heart that nourishes the nation, then the Chinese government has become the steady heartbeat, sustaining that life in the age of data and automation. Comparing China's government with other countries around the world compared to other countries, China has a much stronger and distinct approach to smart agriculture. Unlike the United States, where large companies like John Deere and Monsanto led with automated machinery and genetically modified crops, the U.S. government's support stops at agricultural subsidy programs. The U.S. doesn't yet have a national strategy focused on AI like China does. Although the U.S. agricultural AI market is expected to reach $1 billion by 2030, its growth rate is slower than China's because China has been developing this technology. For much longer in the European Union, although there are programs like Farm to Fork aimed at sustainable agriculture, the deployment of AI is slower due to strict regulations on data and biotechnology. For instance, the EU restricts the use of genetically modified crops, while China has embraced this technology to boost productivity. India 
while also beginning to apply AI in agriculture with drones and mobile apps, still lacks infrastructure and strong supporting policies. India's AI market was around $200 million in 2023, which is much smaller compared to China. In Brazil, they also use drones and sensors in agriculture, but lack a long-term. Its national strategy like China's AI development in Brazil is limited by high costs and a lack of specialized manpower. What makes China stand out more than other countries is the close collaboration between the government, businesses and research institutes, along with strong investments in infrastructure. It is this focus on scale and a clear development strategy that has helped. China not only take the lead, but also create a significant difference in implementing smart agriculture globally. When agriculture becomes a national strategy, the story of smart agriculture in China is not just a technological achievement. It's proof of a leadership mindset that dares to look ahead, dares to invest, and dares to reshape an industry that had seemed unchangeable for thousands of years, from satellite data to harvesting robots. From AI-designed crop varieties to 5G networks extending to remote areas, every step has been calculated. And it all started with a political decision that agriculture is no longer just agriculture. It's a tool of power, survival strategy, a technological race. In a world facing climate change, food crises, and supply chain instability, China chose to act first. They didn't wait for the crisis to happen, they redesigned the entire system to stay ahead. And the question now is, how will the rest of the world react? Will other countries have enough determination to learn? Or will they let China get too far ahead? Let us know your thoughts. What do you think is the most important factor in the success of China's agricultural model? Technology, policies, or the speed of implementation? And if you were a policymaker in the US, Europe, or India, what would you learn from this approach? Leave a comment below. We want to hear from you so that this discussion doesn't end with a video, but becomes a global conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to avoid missing out on the latest analyses on technology, national strategies, and innovations that are shaping the future. Top 10 Discoveries Official will be back with untold stories, groundbreaking projects, and quiet revolutions that are impacting the world. See you in the next video.